Now, let's have a look at effects and adjustments um, in the Affinity Designer Workbook, page 112. And we're going to have a look at the Gaussian Blur effect. Now, you can see that lead snooker ball there. It's got the white patch on the top. What we've got to do is select the Layers panel. And we're going down here to have a look at this one. And we want the ellipse group. We want the first one in the ellipse. And that just shows that white band at the top of that lead ball there. Now we want to blur that because as you can see, it's quite a, it's quite a harsh, clean line, which is not how uh, it would look in real light. So we want that there. We're going to the effects layer and Gaussian blur is turned on because I left it on there from last time. But to get the context toolbar, just tap the word Gaussian blur there and you can see the context toolbar down there. We want to adjust the radius and drag that up to about 35 it is in the book and that sounds good. 33, 34. 35 if you want to get it exactly then we put it in there like that with the numbers panel and you can see on the ball there that it's now quite uh, quite a neat shadow now repeat the process for the lower dark ellipse layer so we want to go back to layers and we want the lower darker ellipse layer and you can see that the ball is still quite sharp, while the ones behind it are not quite so sharp. So let's move the ellipse radius on that one. And you can see that's... We don't want to give it too much. You can see how it's spreading out across the other ball like a shadow. We just want to take it up from zero to soften it a bit. Let's give it 10. Does that look too much? Let's give it 8. That's a bit better. It's a much softer lit ball now. Now shadow effects. We select the red ellipse layer and switch to the effects panel and click on inner shadow. Now we've got that selected. Let's go to the effects panel and find inner shadow and turn on inner shadow. Now we want to bring up the context menu so you tap on the word inner shadow and that's how you bring up the inner panel. This will ex expose its basic settings. We now adjust the settings as desired and although the slider up and down will have an upper limit the radius and offsets can be further increased by typing values into the box and in the in the book the radius and the offset are both set to 300 so the radius and the offset are 300 there aha uh -huh. and you can adjust those accordingly See what happens when you drag it up, you can see. Three hundred. And we'll set those to. So the radius and the offset will leave at three hundred. Now in the book they've got the angle set at ninety percent. So let's see if we can change that. Gaussian blur in the book, the radius is five. Okay, that's set to five. Remember if we want the inner shadow Context toolbar, tap on the word in a shadow. Don't turn it on and off again. 
your opacity. And we got in the book, in the book at 60%. Well, we're set at 59, and that's not too bad. The values on there um, as it as it comes aren't too bad, so we'll leave it at that. And um, just have a look. And that's not too bad. Let's just tap outside here. There we go. Now that ball is indistinguishable from the rest of them. And that's quite good. That's all we want. Now we continue over the page. There's a few more effects. I'll put those in the next exercise.